30 years ago, Jerusalem was just a dream. Since then, tens of thousands of Bede Israel have returned to our historic homeland. For so many, this was a treacherous journey that took their lives. We will never forget the 4,000 people who remain in the sands of Sudan, never having reached the promised land. We will always be thankful to the state of Israel and Jews around the world, who through miraculous secret operations and massive fundraising efforts, help us finally return home. And now, we are home, a new home, so very different from the one we knew. In Ethiopia, our fathers were proud farmers and sheepers. Our mothers were in our households. Our parents and leaders passed their rich knowledge of land, Torah, and home from generation to generation, ensuring our people would survive and thrive as Jews in the land not our own. And now, finally, we are in the land of Israel, our true home. Sometimes I ask myself, 30 years from today, how will my home be in Israel? The way it is today, for so many of us, for so many, life is hard, even for kids like me, who were born in Israel. Here, our parents can no longer teach us all there is to know, or even help us with our homework. They work in whatever job they can do with pride, but with no schooling, little Hebrew, and such different skills, they struggle to support us. I wonder sometimes, will I make my parents proud? Will I be one of the few who make it, despite the odds? I know I will, because I have another thanks to share. I'm one of the lucky ones who have to thank the Ethiopian National Project. I get support after school. I have amazing teachers who teach me in small groups. I have an incredible counselor who visits me at home and who cares about me and advocates for me. I even get a great lunch, which sometimes I take home to my younger brothers and sisters. I have a youth center in my neighborhood, just a short walk away from our building. I participate in a leadership group where I make decisions and help make a difference in all sorts of other activities. I need help so we can succeed in Israel. And with the support of so many good people, we have came so far. But there is still a long way to go, and many more need to join us. Because with EMP, I know we can do great things. After just 10 years of the Ethiopian National Project, thousands of us have made an incredible journey in leaps and bounds. The obstacles are many, but our dreams are limitless, and we have a huge potential to be lawyers, engineers, the prime minister, or even the president. I know thousands more wait for their chance to join ENP. I also know, like me, if they do, our parents' journey will not have been in vain. I see a time, not long from today, where instead of being help, we help others with ENP, that day will come soon. <laughs> Don't worry. We don't have to wait another 30 years for that to happen.